Thank you, Felicia. And good afternoon or morning for those in different time zones. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing you all to a revolutionary product in the relay market. Now, with Pills being an industry leader in safety, we're always looking for new and innovative ways to enhance your safety culture. And with one of those ways, I present to you my peanuts. In this webinar, we will discuss the product overview, basically touch bases on the product in general, uh, the order process and its benefits, a few application examples, uh, just kind of build on smaller examples and build into a more complex, and just touch bases on more what the modules and accessories are within this product platform. Positioning. So, who's needed a product? product that not only included our safety input functions that only give you maybe one, maybe two different elements that you can use in whatever your safety solution is, but something that not only takes away from the complexity of things, so our p Multi-2, so we didn't want to now rain on any parades. We want to kind of fit in a middle zone. So with that, we have my p right smack in the middle. So it's not on the lower end, but it's not also on the higher end. It's basically some product that fits right smack in the middle that'll offer anywhere between two and 16 functions. Now with that, you're thinking, okay, it's not gonna be this, this huge programmable relay. What is it? It's a relay that's gonna give you not only simple LED diagnostics and digital outputs, it stretches across a little bit into some full software diagnostics, but doesn't get really into the field bus or network connectivity. This device stand alone, but adds those safety functions to whatever solutions that you're looking for, whether small or large. At a glance, different, pro, uh, different views of what the product kind of does, what it is. Uh, if you look up at the top here, this is a sample of what the Mighty Pinas product would look like. Uh, you've got a head module, and it looks like about three modules to the right of it. Um, with that, again, you can connect, let's say, black curtains, any other safety devices, different things that, from a design standpoint, you may think about towards the end. So it's something that, oh man, we don't wanna come up with this all the way towards the end because what if this safety feature creates a problem with our solution? With this, as I walk through the presentation, you'll get an understanding for where we fit, how we fit, and how it doesn't matter what the product is, this is designed for you, tailor-made to your specifications. We've got the MyPNOS creator tool. Now with this, it's a online software. Uh, don't want to get it too confused with an actual software. It's more like a tool. So it's just like, you know, you get a screwdriver, the screwdrivers have a handle. They don't call the handle another tool, it's part of a whole. So the MyPNOTS Creator tool via the eShop allows you to create different solutions and applications for whatever it is you're needing within your safety culture. Next here, you got a little view of the different modules. Now we got a head module and 12 input slash output modules. We've got input and output modules here at the top. In your lower left, the straight up input modules. output modules and how they all go together. Now with this system, every one of them will need a head module. So you have to have a head module. This, this piece here will go into every single device. Outside of that, all you need is an input and followed by an output module. The output modules close out the entire system. It's kind of like uh, end resistors uh, for a network. But this isn't a network, so don't get it confused. It's just that's how you close the loops because of how these devices are anded and or together. Next, you kind of get a chance to see the robustness of it. Um, it's hard to tell based on a picture, but how the mechanical connections of this device work together, if there's like a little rail, and that rail, they, the, the, device, the modules slide in snug and then clip in 
with an electrical connection via the bus connector in the back. So they kind of come together and they make a real solid device. So there's no real play or movement in the device. So what you're getting is a tailor-made device that looks like it was made specifically for that application or solution. Okay, on product overview, just little strategies for implementing and operating of my peanuts. Remember, each one consists of a head module. Have to have that head module in place. If you don't have the head module, you don't have a complete system. Last in that lot in that module, SKU has to be an output. Outputs can be expanded, but only by using additional outputs. The moment you add another input, you're kind of creating a zone. So as I touch on that, what you're doing here is you can create very small functions or very We'll call them larger, more complex functions. Can't really get up into the 17, 18, all the way to 100 complex functions and making the program do different things because you're not programming. There's no software needed. You just have an online tool. So in getting that online tool, again, we'll refer to our sales engineers, or if you want, you can cruise our website and you'll find the tool if you wanted just to kind of play around and get an idea for how it works. We'll touch bases on that in just a moment. The order process and how it benefits you. So at this portion, we're gonna discuss, this is really the meat and bones of, of, of how my PNAS is gonna change the game. This is something that you're creating, specifically tailored to you as a customer. Once we've created it, simulated and made sure that it's doing exactly what you would like via the eShop creator tool, we then here at Pills pull the entire system together, configure, test and verify, and then send to you. As soon as you get it, all you're doing is putting in place, clicking to the DIN rail and wiring it up. Just that easy. Now with that, you create a type code that you've, oh, this system works phenomenally. We need eight more of these. You now have one part number to order and you will get that same exact part number every single time. And it will work verified, not only by us, but by the system that you created, that tailor-made solution. So if it works once, it works forever. This is where we dig a little deeper into on the creation side. So this is where you will get more involved in the process. This is the front end. So as you sit down with either a sales engineer or you've got the, uh, the ability, you've done it enough times, you go ahead on the eShop with the creator tool and create it yourself. You can sit down, add what you need into the system, simulate. That way you can validate, make sure everything's doing what it should. And within a few clicks, you're now getting to the documentation. So full documentation on wiring diagrams. You get ePlan versus Pascal. So if you're using our Pascal software, it, it, it definitely integrates into that. If you have different ePlan models that you're trying to use, they pull into that as well. You save your type code. And then it's something that you never have to do again. You can add to it, but when you're, I guess we'll call manipulating your creation or your previous MyPinod solution, you can add to it. So it's not individually stuck as what you tailor made and now you're stuck with that for the next 10, 15, 30 years. It's more of you created that one piece of hardware that is very flexible and modular, so it can be expanded as long as you're following the rules and strategies for implementing the MyPNOS platform. In the next, the part we do, so assembly. So once we get in that bill of material from you, we're gonna assemble it. We're going to set parameters to verify and make sure that it's doing exactly what you need via either timers or 
on offs, rising, falling edge, automatic restarts, those kind of things. We set those parameters. Then we go through our test and validation and you will not receive this product until it passes that final system test. Upon delivery, it's ready to go. You take it out of the box, you wire it up. Simple, saving you your most valuable asset, and that is time. As we all know, sometimes we get things out of a box, we assume that it's gonna work. Case of the Mondays or Gremlins in the Machine, doesn't work. Oh man, now we've gotta wait, there's lead time. We've gotta get another product. With this, it doesn't get to you until we verify that it works. So it cuts down on a lot of that time and that cost as far as the impacts to your scheduling. And your side, again, it's already pre-assembled, very little wiring. Uh, if you uh, look over the wiring diagram, it literally tells you what you have to do, where you're landing your wires. Now, of course, it's not gonna be too code. It just kind of shows you the wiring destinations, not necessarily, oh, you should use green, yellow here, white there, blue there. We're expecting that you guys know that on your side. So we don't necessarily give you that information, but we like to keep it to as little bit of wiring as possible. No software. So again, I understand using the e-tool, the e-shop tool is a bit of software, but we do not consider the software. It's more like a tool. It completes the package. And finally, again, reduce space requirements. So as it fits into place. This isn't some large piece of equipment that's going to take up a lot of your panel space. It actually is going to reduce it by giving you exactly what you want. You're not getting some extra IO that is, okay, we're building in for the future. No, this is strictly for whatever it is you're tailor making that process to be safe with. It's a benefit at a glance. Innovative concept. So, Formation of safety circuits and zones, huge. Can be assembled quickly, individually, with the MyPNOS creator. So if you think about this from a relay standpoint, a lot of times you gotta do a lot of front end engineering on that. You gotta look at what you're needing. You have to understand what you're needing. You gotta see power. You gotta see what kind of devices can connect to it. But this is quickly assembled because we're kind of walking you through the process of the creation side but we're leaving it up to you as far as making it tailor-made. The modular design. So again, flexibility, but the modularity in this form is unique on the market. You only pay for what you need. As I stated before, you're not gonna spend a lot of time adding that 10, 15, 20% of extra IO. You don't need it. If you need it down the line, again, there's a flexibility. You can buy individual parts off of the eShop if you know what, you're, what, what you need. As long as within your chain on my PNAS, it ends with an output module. So, uh, oh, it has to have a Y, O, Y, I, O. If you start with another input, you're basically creating another zone. So this thing can start to grow. So when we're talking from a modular standpoint, you may have a small CNC machine. That CNC machine doesn't need a lot of complexity to it. It's very small. Maybe a couple of e-stops, uh, a couple buttons, maybe a switch for a hatch, but not much to it. But if let's say that CNC machine is now connected to a process, you can start adding zones to it. And again, you gotta be careful. You can only add up to eight modules on the uh, the head module. Easy to handle, oh, oh, oh. easy to handle. So again, no software, you're just using this straight up it's i wanted to do this i want to buy it this is going to make it work for me i'm going to get it wired up we're done just that simple very simple solutions efficient to use again it saves time and cost thanks reduce wiring and the low space requirement allows almost like a plug in and forget uh, up in the corner off to the side. Um, if you want to know if something is wrong within your zones that you created with my BNOS, it will display on the front through LEDs. So when it comes to troubleshooting, it's all right there. They keep it simple. 
but we try to at least make the complexity on our side as far as making it work, testing, and validating. Simplicity and ease of use. Okay, a couple of application examples. So as I touched on, you got sealing machines, CNC machines, packaging machines. So from like a lower level, this is what you would kind of see, or this is what you will see using the eShop My Peanuts Creator tool. This logic here, when you first get in, it's blank, but you have their, their added button. So you'll just click and add whatever the functionality is that you're looking for. You can continue to add more inputs, as you can see, but it's all going to be based on the kind of module that you're using. And here down here, the type code, this type code is what's specific to you. So that's tailor made to you. So right now, this system, if I wanted this system, it looks very similar to this. In any one of these machines, I would use this type code within the eShop. And it will already pull in all the data. It will know what the dial settings are. We will then make it for you and send it to you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. As we move to more complexity, you'll kind of see it kind of grows a little bit. So again, here, this is a small automatic press. You see, you got some two hand operatings in here. And it's grown a little bit. You can kind of see based off of the hardware, hardware kind of changed as well as your type code. Now, as we continue on and add complexity, pay attention to that type code and watch as it continues to expand. It gets larger. And that's just based off of your different zones. So right now, this is all single zone solutions. Ah, now we start getting into more zones. So right here we have zone one, which is very similar to Previous examples, we got four e stops and serious connection, you know, safety gate for monitoring, some light curtains, and zone two, just specific light curtain. So when we create this logic within the My Pinot Creator tool, we have that. And then we threw in another input. So when we threw that input in and we created another zone, this is what we got. Now you say, okay, why is this? and this similar. So they're similar because within the head module, there's an ANDed global safe function. This could be an e-stop. This could be anything. This could be a system ready. It could be anything you would like it to be, but it is consistent across each module in your MyPNOS platform. So that will stay the same. Now, adding other inputs, those are a little different. but well, not that one, this one here. If you end on an input, of course, that now creates yet another zone. Now, if you take a look, you can see there's a whole nother set here. I know you couldn't see that at first, but where you see the XD, ED, KA, those are generally monikers or alphabets for our input, output, and head modules. So you'll see those first, followed by some sort of three-digit code. Generally, that three-digit code is your dial settings. So can't really see them, they're a little hazy here, but there's dial settings on each one of these devices. Head module has a run, stop, and configure, as well as the other dial settings for rising edge, trailing edge, falling edge, uh, automatic restarts, those kind of things. And we continue, we get this complex. So you've now got four zones created. So as you see with the type code here, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause this. I gotta continue to move my uh, screen around. It's pretty complex, like that number, if it's off by one digit, you're getting a totally different pro product. But you can see how just with one simple MyPinaz application or solution, you've got three to four different zones all working together. Whereas you may not have thought through the safety aspect of the process yet. 
Now you've got the ability to sit down, create it, whether it's with myself, another sales engineer, or by yourself using the e shop creator tool to create a system that not only brings in all the ins and outs from whatever safety devices you have out in the field, you've now created it in one panel. It doesn't have to be split up and, and one panel here, another panel there, another panel there. This is all one panel. So you get this large block that's ready to go. We've tested it. We know it works. You get it from us, we're building that trust. You now get a product that you know coming out of the box, it's going to work. Plug it in, wire it up. You're saving yourself some time. You get your uh, electricians out there. They're labeling wires before it's even landed. So they're just kind of there, wire nut it off. Once you get ready to introduce your safety culture, unwire nut, plug them in, you're ready to go. You know that's not going to be a stopping point. Your bottleneck will be somewhere else in your process. And again, compatible pill products. So as you can see, wide range of products that not only work with Micronauts, these devices are very similar to our competitors. So yes, competitor stuff does work. Um, as you can see, we've got lots of buttons, hinges, some switches. Ooh, there's a scanner in there. So I guess one OSSDs, you can pull in some scanner data. Uh, light curtains, jock switches, dead man switches, and kind of interlocks, door switches. And threw this in here just to kind of cover what happens if a module happens to fail. Uh, of course, it's robust. So as it comes together, it's very tight. It fits together extremely well. So it's a very solid piece of equipment. But how would you remove it? Very simple. Uh, just like removing from DIN rail. You know, pull out and up slide it off these rails and see if you can see these little rails here this is a better picture for you but it slides right down on these little rails here back into the bus connector so all you would need is to if you don't have any in stock go through the eShop, order the exact module that you need because you can order individual uh modules plug back in turn your dial on your head module here to configure, it'll sit for five seconds, and then you'll see everything go green, and you're back in action. So very easy, very flexible, definitely modular as far as building zones. And a product that not only is one of our new revolutionary and innovative products, but something that's tailor-made just for you. So you think about it, you're inventing a product every time you deal with the eShop Creator tool, creating a different solution with MyFinance. And with that, I'll take questions and open it up for Felicia. Well, thank you, Brandon. Um, again, just wanted to remind you, if you have questions, please utilize the control panel under questions. So, and just type in your question there. Uh, we'll try to get to all the questions today. If we don't get to your question because of time constraints, we will be sure to email you personally with the answer. Um, we do have a few questions. So first one comes in, if I already have an existing system, can I add modules to it? Yes, that can happen. So not only if a module fails, can you add a module to your existing platform? Let's say you have it working, it's working, it's been working. You may wanna add a process to your CNC machines. You can now add whichever module you would like as long as within your new zones, you have an input followed by an output. Once you, I guess, connect those two modules together on the other side, on the right side of your last output module, you will turn that dial back to configure, five seconds, it'll all go green, starts right back up and your system is now ready to go but that type code that was created that's personally for whatever solution is that you created it's if you order that type code it's going to send you that not the new modules you would have to recreate within the the eShop eCreator tool it will now create or generate another type code and now you're ready to go hope that answers your question 
Okay, the, the next question is, are connected devices specific to the PILS catalog? No, uh, I know I showed um, quite a few different components that are within our library, but if you have the correct pinout, we'll take competitor components as well. <laughs> we have got no problem, but it's not specific to PILS product line. It's across the board. As long as the wiring pinout adds up as far as your OSSDs, your power in, power out, this feedback loop, as long as those wire up correctly, you're good to go. Okay, and one more question just came in. What happens if the dial settings are switched in transit? Will the product still function? You will not have that problem. We have adhesive tape that we will place over mm -hmm. each one of those dials, making sure that they're locked in and ready to go. So once it's proven that it's verified and valid, we slap those application stickers on and it will not change. When you take the sticker off, we'll know, you'll know, because it leaves a little bit of an identity. It's almost like getting your phone wet and then the little thing turns pink. It's very similar to that. So you do not have the problem or run into an issue to where you'll have in transit, maybe bumping and bumping around and dial changes or something comes loose, you won't have that problem. We're trying to engineer that out for you. Okay, another question. At what IO count does it make sense to just go to the go to a safety PLC or other? Hold on, it's not giving me the other type of so safety as controller. You, yeah, so as you're approaching more of like 16 functions, that's when you want well, I would give it 12 functions because you kind of want to leave a little bit open there just for you know later on in life. As you're approaching 16 functions, you're approaching the the maximum amount of functions for the MyPinots platform. So as you start getting on that edge of things and you know this is going to be a little more robust than I expected, then yes, you would want to pull in maybe our multi uh, catalog or plat product line or maybe even 4,000, something that has more of a programming aspect to it that has more complexity. With this, remember, we're just trying to fit right in between to make sure that you have a device that's capable of bringing in inputs sending out outputs, and creating a safety environment. Okay, the next question, how do you separate eShop between, uh, how do you separate eStop e between zones? Let's say I don't want an eStop zone one, but I do want an eStop in zone two. It's up to you. Remember, it's flavor to taste. And as far as using that, the global safety function, that doesn't have to be an eStop. So if you don't want one eStop in, let's say, all four of your zones, you can have an e-stop that's just, let's say it's zone three is where you want your e-stop. Plug your e-stop in there within your, your input spread uh, or in, input modules, and then you're good to go. That e-stop will only work for that specific zone. Okay, next question. More. Can you order a system with spare I.O., and how do, you en how do you enable the spares in the future if needed? So as you're pulling it together within the e-shop, it gives you options, and again, just touch bases with your, your local sales engineer and they'll kind of walk you through the process. But you can order individual model, uh, modules as well as as you build your entire MyPinaz components, it'll show you off to the side what each one is. So like, let's say you create your systems, got three different zones, you've got your type code, you want that. But at the same time, you want two or three other modules just on standby because you got some other ideas going on in your head. You can do that just fine. You can order from a package deal or you can order individual modules. They're both done in the same place and you can simulate all the same. Okay, next question. How performance level calculated with assembled components? Maybe how is performance level calculated with assembled components? You can do a Pascal. Um, if you understand as far as bringing in severities and how often things can happen, you can do a calculation. It'll, I guess, prove your system correct as far as whatever level you're looking for. But a lot of times if you're using a certain level, as long as you don't go below that level, it's gonna stay at that level. So this is a, let me verify for sure. Let 
This is PLE. CL3. So as long as you don't go below that, it won't jeopardize your safety level. Okay, next question. Is there zero or safe speed monitoring capabilities? There is not. And I won't say that that's going forward forever. That could be something that we do in the future. But for speed monitoring, it's more of a range. So I would probably move you more to a speed monitor or our multi-platform on that. You get more functionality out of it as far as what you're looking for. This is more on-off, stop-go, discrete type uh, setup. Okay, and what is the performance level on each input, assuming the sensor is performance level E sensor? E. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> That's a quick and easy answer. <laughs> um, I'm just going to throw this out there. We're at the end of the questions, but if you have any more questions, please continue to type in because um, we're still here. We do have a little bit more time. Um, sure do. Let's see, is there one more question? Nope, I think that's it. So with that, if there are no further questions, we will end this presentation. Thank you again for your attention and interest and have a safe day. Thank you, everybody.